Stop. Nobody move. There's a wild Pokemon, and I must take its picture. I just have to. Dang it, it moved. I know it's been 20 years, guys, but on today's episode of Mumbles, we are reviewing the new Pokemon Snap. Coming up next on Mumbles. Oh! Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles. In today's episode of Mumbles, I'm reviewing this. This, my friends, is the new Pokemon Snap. Explore lush scenery on unknown islands to snap photos of Pokemon in their natural habitat. Seek out and take in-game photographs of Pokemon in their natural environments in the new Pokemon Snap game, only for Nintendo Switch system. Snap photos from the Neo one as you encounter and research lively wild Pokemon. You might see unexpected expressions or behaviors. Pokemon patrolling their territory, playing, or lurking in out-of-the-way spots. Guys, Pokemon Snap is only available for the Nintendo Switch and can be picked up for a price of $60 at the time of this review. So guys, this is the game I am reviewing today. I'm so excited to review it. It's been a long time since we had a Pokemon Snap. And the new one, is it good? Is it bad? Should you buy it? Should you pass it? Should you throw it in the trash? I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this game next on Mumble's videos. But before we do, guys, I do have to ask... Ah! I'm okay, guys, but we're going to jump straight into this game review, guys. Guys, as expected as with all Nintendo games, this game has fantastic graphics, a great soundtrack, and can utilize all the various controls, including motion controls, on the Nintendo Switch. Gameplay-wise, this game is exactly what you think it is. You ride in your little cart, and it goes burr, and you snap, snap, snap on your picture camera phone thing, snapping pictures of any and all Pokemon that you encounter. Now, these photos will be graded by the Pokemon Professor, Professor Mir, and they are graded based on how good and unique they are. The scoring system is a little unique in this game. Depending on what the Pokemon is doing, your picture is given a score on a scale of 1 to 4 stars. Then, based on how good the photo itself is, whether the Pokemon's facing the camera, things like that, the Professor actually gives you a number of points that set that photo apart from other number of star photos so let's say you have two four star photos one might be better than the other one in the professor's eyes because of that second scoring system now you take these photos over 11 different stages with three stages in each of those stages so each stage there's a day level a night level and then a special secret level that i'm not going to spoil for you guys and there are approximately 200 plus Pokemon for you to photograph in this game. Now along the way there are some gameplay mechanics that do get introduced. And there's special areas that you can only get to on certain maps by doing certain things. I won't spoil anything or offer any hints as to how to get to those special areas. But I will say that at one point very early in the game you will get the ability to throw fruit at Pokemon. To get them to eat the fruit, to get their attention, stuff like that. And it, th there's these kind of mechanics built into this game. I'm not going to spoil any of the other mechanics in this game. But there are different things you can do to get Pokemon to look at the camera and do this and that. And do special things. Now guys. I can pretty much sum up the gameplay of this game by the, like this. You go out into the world. You ride in your little cart. You take pictures of Pokemon. You go back to the professor. You rinse and you repeat. That is what the new Pokemon Snap is, just like the old Pokemon Snap. Guys, there are two cons for this game that I do want to talk about. Some people may find this game a little bit silly and a little bit repetitive. Personally, I didn't. But some people may because it's kind of a grind thing. You just kind of do the same thing over and over again. So I do want to list that here as a con. I'm not taking any points from it, but it is a con nonetheless. And the second con that we have is that photo judging, in my opinion, is a little bit odd. Sometimes you can take an amazing photo and it can be less points than other photos where the Pokemon isn't even in the screen. So I'm like, man, the photo judging system is a little bit weird in this game. So just do be aware of that. So guys, now it's up to talk about is what I'm going to give the new Pokemon Snap on today's episode of Mumbles. I rented the original Pokemon Snap from Blockbuster and beat that sucker in a couple days. And I loved that game. I can still remember 
in the last stage of that game, you have to get Mew and you have to do certain things to get Mew to pop his bubble so you can get the perfect photo of Mew. And I was so excited and so happy when I finally did it and I got it and it was just awesome. Guys, Pokemon Snap builds on that nostalgia. The new Pokemon Snap is just like the old Pokemon Snap, but it's longer and it has a lot more Pokemon in it. With that being said, I gotta say, as someone who beat and loved the original so much, I did feel like the newer one didn't 100% live up to the expectations I had. Maybe that's just me dreaming or thinking, you know, things would be a little bit different. But guys, I do have to say, I'm still giving this game an 8 out of 10 on today's Mumbles Review. It's a fantastic, nice, relaxing game. There's a lot of replayability built into it with the online of beating over other people's photos in the world. Something that the original Pokemon Snap didn't have. But I do think because the first Pokemon Snap was so awe-inspiring, this game did miss out on that a little bit. And I also do am detracting points because the photo judging system in some points is just nonsense. But beyond that, this game gets an 8 out of 10. It's a fantastic little relaxing game. I definitely recommend that you check out. And guys, that's my review of the new Pokemon Snap. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those button, 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 buttons. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.